This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discovery course. Make the scoreboard. Okay, and we've seen this before. Um, so this is the game we've been working on. Let's check it out. Yep, that's the original background, and we added stuff for score. Uh, make sure you go back and do the previous levels if you don't have multiple backgrounds yet. So let's see. You'll also need a scoreboard so the player can keep track of the score. There's already a show score function written, but it only shows the text score. Oh, does it? You can see an example working of the scoreboard. And, okay. Do this. Read the code in the show scoreboard function. Call the function inside the draw loop right after you draw the backgrounds. Okay, so we don't see it yet. Use the text block to display the score at the top of the screen. Got it. So we need to add this. Let's look for the show score function. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. Now we need to call show score. We need to ask the computer to run this code here. So where do we want to do that? Well, we definitely need to do it after backgrounds because otherwise the background will be drawn over it. That creates a function. Where is a function call? Down in functions. Here we are. My function. And we want this after the backgrounds so the backgrounds aren't drawn on top of our score. And it was so score. When the computer hits this, it looks for the function, runs the code inside, goes back up to our draw loop, and keeps going. Let's see if we have... Yep. All right. And then we need to display... Okay, let's go down here. Hmm. Then we need to display our actual score, text size, with a variable. Hmm. Let's see if this is it. Okay, so that is what's going to be displaying our text. So we want to show our score variable. All right, okay, so we need another text block down here. And we're going to grab it from here and drop it right below score. Okay, and then I know the position is 10, 10 for this. So I'm going to kind of finagle with it. Let's see, I want this to be 45... And then Y is going to be 10, because I want it on the same line. And 80, 20 they have. Instead of having a string with quotes, I want a variable here. So I want to write the word score, because that's the variable we're going to display. And, oh, it's, going, it's writing it, but it's over top of this. So let's move X to 65. Okay, and I still need that out, so I'm going to try 80. And maybe that's too far. I want to make sure I have room in case we get to double-digit scores, though. I'm going to stick to 75. Okay, I'll call that good. So there's my score, and it should be... Oh, it might not update yet. Did they ask us to do that, though? All right, and it gets drawn right there. We have it in the top corner. Call the function inside the draw loop right after. Yep, use the text block to display the score. Yep, so great. Um, awesome, and there is our score. Let's keep what I added was this line, this text line, with the variable score in its position. Great, let's keep going.